Hi, and welcome to Cut the Noise mini series on burns. My name is Chrissy Stiles, and I'm the Burns and Plastic Surgery Clinical Nurse Specialist. And today we will talk about how you would undertake a size assessment of burns. There are many different methods of estimating burn area, and each has a role in different scenarios. It's important to remember that erythema should not be included. Percentage of the total body surface area, also known as percentage TBSA, is an important factor in the initial assessment of the burn, and there are a few ways it can be done. London Browder, Wallace's Rule of Nines, Palmer Surface, and there is also the Mersey Burns app. Firstly, Wallace's Rule of Nines. It's a quick way of estimating medium to large burns in adults. The body is divided into areas of 9% and the total burn area can be calculated. However, it is not accurate in children and overestimates by approximately 4% in adults. Second is the London Browder chart. This, if used correctly, is the most accurate method. It compensates for the variation in body shape with age and therefore can give the most accurate assessment of burns area in children as well as in adults. Mersey Burns app is a free smartphone tablet app based on the standardized London Browder chart. It's developed to support quicker and more accurate percentage TBSA estimation and calculation of burn fluid resuscitation requirements in emergency settings. And lastly, for smaller burns that are less than 15% TBSA and for very large burns over 85% TBSA, where you actually measure the unburned skin, the Palmer surface method is a very good tool to use. Here, the surface area of the patient's palm, including their fingers, is considered to be roughly 1% of total body surface area. Join us next time when we'll be discussing how and when to refer to a burn specialist.